Oh, hello. 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 Uh, I forgot to resize it. You can only really resize it when the video is paused, so there you go. Hello. Hello, uh, hello. Did you just make a FNAF reference in a FNAF video? I know. That's the point. It's beautiful. Anyway, I want to talk about something that um was very interesting, I found. Yep. Now, um... The thing I want to talk about today, guys, is this, the FNAF, Sister Location, FNAF Song by Living Tombstone. Also, ignore the, this, that's Russell calling. Oh, right. what do you want, Bill? Did you bring your music to school? Why? You might be wondering, well, what's so, I mean, what's what about this last song? Now, I want to talk about <clears throat> what the song means. Now, <clears throat> the meaning of a song is very important to the memorabilia of the song. For example, uh, the FNAF 1 through 4 songs, they're very easy to decipher what they mean. But this last song, it's just, it's weird. So, while I was in my study area, also known as on the toilet. <laughs> I uh I finally it it dawned it dawned on me what it actually means. I re look at the lyrics and I found out what do they mean. And here is my theory on what the FNAF system location song means. And well, Russell, would you like to tell what it means? I don't know, it's your it's your thing. You you thought you came up with it. Oh, okay. Well, oh, I, I forgot. I forgot to really mention. Uh, Drew joined my game asked fifty fifty. Didn't really, didn't mention that, but yeah. Um. But uh, my theory is that's an allegory or it's symbolic of Living Tombstone himself, but not like him. More like. How he's been treated. Now that might sound really crazy at first. I would know I'm a crazy person, but think we're about crazy people. Yeah, we're pretty crazy people. Have you watched any of my videos? But um, think about it. Um, I'm gonna go through the first lyrics of the song. Now I'm not gonna actually play the song. I'll leave a link to the song, but I'm gonna read you the lyrics <clears throat> as they appear on the screen. That you can't see. Because I'm reading them. The first line of the song is, I've been trying for so long. Then, to sing you the right song. To show you something different every day. That doesn't sound like Baby. Or Baloa. Or Funtime Foxy. Or no one. That doesn't sound like anyone. From FNAF Sister Location. So you hear what I have to say. Like the puzzle pieces. That's something that someone in defense of themselves would say. And now here we are to stand still. I wonder if you feel the kind of pain that rips your insides out. This song is very, um... That's something I know all about. Is the next line after that. I don't have to comment on the song. The song is weird. Shocking, ain't it? And then, then come the chorus. Is it because I can't be her? Made major mistakes and make me hurt. Made your mistakes and make me hurt. Now, doesn't that sound just a bit weird to you guys at all? Game Masters of 50, does that sound weird to you? What? There's the line, um, made your mistakes and make me hurt. Sounds like something below it would say. Yeah. No, it doesn't. <laughs> would, okay. I mean, yes, I see, yes, that, that, that does seem like something below it would say. But more importantly, could you name something else? Something else that a person would say in that, in that situation. Maybe, maybe someone said something that made the creator of the song hurt. Hmm. Now, I'm just kind of linking stuff here. Here's where the real evidence comes in. The lyric, uh, the things, I can't fix you, I can't fix you. Yeah, then, no shit. No, more lyrics. Is it because I can't be her? 
made me awake and make me hurt. I can't fix you. But some of the real evidence comes later in the song. Now think about this for a moment. If you look at the living things in the songs, they are incredibly loved, especially the FNAF ones. But also the FNAF ones get heavily hated on. Like 29,000 dislikes. But why? Is it because they're popular? Well, yeah, some people hate people because they're popular. But I think... Yeah, people like that really make me sick. People that hate on others because they're popular make me sick. Well, yeah, uh, so I mean... Hey, you cool dog. Guy with a cool dog profile. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I it's understandable, but not really. That's the kind of... Anyway, next lines. I can feel my heart breaking. The stakes I've been making, I've been running out of patience to pretend. This isn't how I'll, I'll let it end. My faying, fading. Now, you might say, what does faying mean? I Fae looked it up. Pretending to pretending to feel. Yes, it means, like, pretending to feel. Not like a facade, per se, but it's something similar, not exactly to a facade. But if you think about it, my facade fading makes a little bit of sense for someone who's tired of trying their best but still hating on. Yeah. You've been mourning your loss, and that's grinding my gears. How can a human use their self-control? Nate, Russell, can you name one situation in you two where someone loses their self-control? Can you name something somewhere on YouTube where someone might lose their self-control? Uh, it's like, it's like, say, YouTube brought up anyway, a new guideline that yeah. really hinders lots of big YouTubers. Now, you could express that in video form, like a certain song, or yeah. in the comment section of a video. Uh-huh. Like, maybe people saying, this song isn't as good as the first song. Now the first song is hated on because it's so popular. People hate the future songs too because they're not the first song. That's why the FNAF 4 song was so similar to the first song. Like, it had the exact same formula, nearly the same voice. Because Lemon Tombstone was trying to make it as good as it once was. There's nothing left to make you whole. I'm done explaining. It's interesting. Yeah. Is it because I can't be her? Now, to, to be uh, honest, this this part right now, I'm just thought of. Is it because I can't be her? I just thought of this. Maybe that's not referring to a person, but rather than, what if these songs can't be the first one? The most popular one. Exactly. That makes a lot of sense. And if you keep looking in the video, later, a giant Freddy becomes devo it just devours pieces. Now, I wonder what that means. What that could mean. That's also I symbolic. I have an idea what it can mean. Maybe the FNAF community is eating this and just destroying him. Yeah. This is what happened. This is what happens when you leave it to someone else. If you want it yeah. done, if you don't want it well, done right, you should just do it yourself. Mm -hmm. Now. I have an idea of what that can mean. Mm hmm. Oh we're, right. gonna, oh, we're running really low on time, so hurry this up. Oh, really? How much time? One minute, come on. Okay, so to sum it up, that, that one line means that the FNAF community wants the Living Tombstone to make more FNAF songs, but the Living Tombstone is tired of it, so he wants. So Louis Tombstone wants the FNAF community to make their own and do it themselves and see how hard it is and how much time it takes up of, of theirs. Exactly. That is exactly what that means. A world of nothing but machines, like our world today. Then he mentions how much we have in common, both being part of YouTube. But then he just says, I can't fix, uh, I can't fix, oh, I can't speak. I can't, fix you. I, can't fi I can't speak, I can't fix you. Well, that's the theory at least, that the, that the Living Terms of FNAF uh, song's location is about uh, an allegory for Living Tombstone being tired of the FNAF community hating on him.
See you guys later.